Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Rohini here. What the hell is up? No, it's too early. It's too early to swear. Not even that early. It just feels early. What's up, heenies? Welcome back. Um, I'm just doing a good old morning vlog today, and I'm actually using my vlog camera, like my Canon G7X, which is what I used to use all the time until I got my fancy camera. But there's something about it, it just is way more personal and easy and like just less professional. So I thought I would film with that today just to have some nice casual vlog vibes for this morning. Um, I look like The Rock. <laughs> let, me, let me put in the photo that I'm thinking of. Wait, maybe you need to see my belt. Okay, well, you got the idea. I was wearing a chain and I took it off because I was like, I literally look like The Rock. And you guys have told me before when I wear this turtleneck with the chain that I look like The Rock. So, um, yeah. Hi, <laughs> Henry boy. It is Monday morning. I had the most chill weekend of all weekends. Literally, we did nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, what is there really to do when there's a global pandemic and the air quality outside is like 340, which is extremely extremely unhealthy do not go outside so we just watched tv aka netflix and we watched movies and we just hung out and i baked and cooked a lot and we just yeah chilled so i feel like i need to be productive today because i did nothing this weekend why is that like why do we feel like we can't relax without having to immediately be extremely productive afterwards why is that more on that later let me let henry out you wanna go out? It feels like fall. For real. Look outside, it's so gloomy. While it's also still there's still, you know, ash and hi blue. You don't get enough time on the vlog these days. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Blue and I had a really nice cuddle sesh this morning. And last night, he cuddled us basically all night. Um, but anyway, it's so gloomy and it's kind of cold. It's like 55. And I'm ready for turtleneck season, I guess. Wow, I'm looking like a ghosty. Looking like a real ghosty. Don't mind that. I'm in a mood to cook and bake the last 24 hours. Like yesterday, oh boy, if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw me talk about it. But, um,. I chefed it up. I was a goddamn chef last night. <laughs> um, we had a bunch of tomatoes from our garden, like huge tomatoes that were so good. We had like seven of them. And there's a bunch more coming, and I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do with all these tomatoes? And so the only thing I could think of was pasta sauce, and I never made pasta sauce before. We also had a bunch of basil from the garden, and I had a bunch of garlic from the farmer's market. So I made some really dank pasta sauce with no recipe it was so good i was like am i a chef am i a chef right now <laughs> are we gonna kiss right now because it was so good um just a lot of garlic basically is the key but um yeah so that was bomb and then i also made a berry crisp triple berry crisp with my mom's crisp recipe it's just out of the old moosewood cookbook um and i we had a bunch of blackberries raspberries and blueberries from the farmer's market and I didn't want them to go bad because there was too many for us to just like eat without them going bad. So I made a crisp and it was so good. I like added double the amount of the crumble on it because I love the crumble and it was just so good. And we literally ate half of it in one night. It was mostly me. I had like three servings because it was so good. So maybe I will make tofu scramble. We have a lot of tofu or I don't know. I made a really good pumpkin oatmeal bake the other day. So that was really good if you guys want to make a pumpkin oatmeal bake for fall time let's get cooking okay welcome to the vlog happy you're here Casually keep diving into concrete. i'm gonna make tofu scramble that's the only thing i can think of let me show off my crisp let me show it off look at this shit it was so good i cannot there's still a fork in there for me <laughs> eating it last night out of the pan um yeah it's so bomb Hey, bomb. So I showed this recipe in my last, um, my what I eat in a week video. So I'm not gonna like really tell you all about it because you can watch it there. But yeah, I have to press the tofu first. Okay. She 
she's pressing. I am too hungry to wait for the tofu scrambles. I'm gonna make a smoothie. I've been making the heavy metal detox smoothie from the medical medium cookbook. So let me just read a little bit about it off the website so you know what it does because I've been posting about it and a couple of you have had questions. So this is just from his website. I'll link the recipe and everything down below. Um, the smoothie is not only delicious, it's also perfectly designed to include five key ingredients that work together in synergy to pull heavy metals like mercury, lead, aluminum, nickel, copper, and cadmium out of your organs where they accumulate. Toxic heavy metals are virtually everywhere and are present in things we come in contact with every day. Blah, 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 blah. It lists a bunch of them. So basically it just talks about how important it is to help get rid of these from your body. So yeah, I'm gonna make that. The only thing I don't have for it is orange juice. Um, so I'll probably just use Oatly. Me, it's not as good, but I have all the other ingredients, so I'm just gonna make that right tonight. Bitter, 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 So it ended up being pretty thick and also a lot of it so I'm just making bowls now but I actually like smoothies thicker so I'm just gonna add some like granola and some fresh strawberries and honey and stuff. The curl struggle is real. I've been fighting the good fight since middle school. My curls were limp, frizzy, and all around just blah. Enter We Dad's Curl Shaper line, which has given me the best hair of my life. The glow up is very real, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? My hair game has significantly improved thanks to today's sponsor, We Dad. Let's talk about my current hair routine because you guys are asking. It's like my number one most asked question on all my recent photos. Everyone's like, hair routine, hair routine, drop the hair routine. And I'm really excited because this video is sponsored by We Dad. And oh boy, one of my friends actually works for them and she thought that I would like the product so she sent me them a little while ago. I've been using them and like could not stop raving about how good they make my hair look. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know if I can swear. Are you kidding me with this hair? These, these curls, this is not, this didn't happen before. So they were kind enough to sponsor me. And since I love the product so much and it is my hair routine that I've been using, I'm just really hyped about this because oh, it's a game changer. It's a complete game changer. So let's get into it. So my current routine has been all we done completely 100% for the last, at least month now. You guys have noticed a difference in my curls on Instagram and in videos, you've been asking a lot. Basically, I would say maybe every other wash or every three washes, probably every three washes, I'll use the um, Curl Shaper Good As New Moisture Restoring Shampoo. And it is, okay, wait, before I even, all of these products smell so good. Like not like a normal shampoo or conditioner. It smells like a sexy kind of like cologne. It smells like a perfume that I would wear. It's my all time favorite um, shampoo scent I've ever smelled. Like it's so sexy. I use this moisture restoring shampoo like every three washes or so if I feel like I have some buildup or my hair just feels kind of blah and needs like 
reset um and it's super like you can get a really nice kind of lather to it and it just feels so good it's definitely moisturizing like they say like it doesn't strip your hair which a lot of shampoos make my hair not good like i can't even put my fingers through it if i tried so these are the two game changing products for me this one this baby this is the curl shaper double duty weightless cleansing conditioner four in one formula it cleanses conditions detangles and nourishes curls and it says perfect for loose curls and waves which that's me this has been the biggest game changer for my hair because it's not a shampoo it's like also a conditioner so you're cleansing with a conditioner and it just makes my curls so happy and hydrated and not so frizzy and all over the place so i use this whenever i take a shower um i pump a lot in my hands because you need to really get it into your roots um i record a video of me in the shower which is probably playing over this now i pump like a lot like probably at least four or five pumps because i'm crazy and i really like i it says to divide your hair into four sections i just like kind of put it in my roots make sure to get all of the areas that i normally would get you know greasy or build up or whatever and then i really work it in there give myself a little hand massage and then i'll um, bring it down to the ends but i mostly like focus up on my roots and then i leave it in for three five minutes so i put it on scrub it in there and then i shave my whole body <laughs> and wash my whole body so i just kind of leave it in there while i do the rest of my shower stuff which is super easy and then i rinse it out and i finger comb out my hair while i'm rinsing and that really helps like i never use a comb or a brush or anything i never have um and my curls just don't like it i don't think it's the best um thing for curly hair or wavy hairs to brush it all the time so i just yeah finger comb through in the shower like gently while i rinse it out after the shower this is what makes the curls so yummy i have to say this stuff um they sent me a tester a while ago before the actual product was out and i almost used up the whole thing and i was like when is the product product launching like i need this i need more of this i need this in bulk it's so so good so this is their curl shaper take shape plumping and defining cream plump and define your natural curl pattern from the inside out and this smells all of it all of it smells like a sexy cologne it's so rich and just buttery and delicious and mm, i love it um yeah so after the shower after i finger combed my hair i know I like squeeze out my hair, pat dry a little bit, but when my hair is mostly still, it's basically still dripping wet, I get a bunch of this, scoop it up in my hand, finger comb, I start on the insides because that's where my hair is normally the most dry, like if I don't get like, a lot of product on the inside, my curls go crazy in there because I have some like actual ringlets on the inside if you can see, so if I don't take care of those guys, they just go crazy, but yeah, I really get a lot and i focus on the inside of my hair right here where all the ringlets are and then i go out and i'm finger combing the whole time finger combing it through my hair making sure to get the ends and then i just start like finger combing the top and um i like working from the bottom it's just easier if you have any tangles and then i get a little bit more i don't get too much on the top because i don't want it to be too greasy or like I don't know i mostly focus on here and then i get a little bit excess and rub it, rub it through the top rub it through the back right here and then i scrunch it so i scrunch it with my towel first i'll like you know throw my hair over and scrunch it with my towel as you guys saw and then i'll scrunch it with my hands and then i make sure to kind of have somewhat of a part going on here not really much like look at that it's like harry potter's scar kind of kind of crazy but um yeah make sure these little bang pieces are in the right place and then scrunch it all up and i just leave it i don't use hot tools on my hair really ever i don't blow dry my hair i just don't like it i like how my hair naturally air dries so this is natural guys if my middle school self could see me now oh my god i my hair was terrible in middle school because i wanted it to be straight and it wasn't and so i would just torture it honestly and i never let my natural hair show like it was always up or i always would straighten it and oh i swear my curls are i'm just now getting like the hang of my curls i thought i had the hang of my curls like a couple years ago no right now this is the best my hair has ever been like bye i mean look at this guys this is dry this is my hair dry this is just 
crazy. Last but definitely not least, one of the game changing products is their um, Curl Shaper Bounce Back Reactivating Mist, which multi-use formula that brings curls back to life. And this is key because yeah, my hair looks freaking bomb right now, but maybe by tomorrow night or the next morning, my curls are a little blah and they need a, a boost. So this is really, really nice for that. It just brings them back to life, makes them look healthy, happy, young and fresh again. And again, it smells bomb. So sometimes my hair ends up smelling like whatever I cook for dinner. Just me, I don't know. But if I use this, then it smells really delicious again. So to use this to bring back your curls, you just spray it all over. Spray it all over your dry hair and give it a little scrunchy scrunch and it brings it back to life. It's a life-saving product if your hair smells like dinner. <laughs> if you're, they're gonna, I'm gonna send this video and they're gonna be like, what? <laughs> Why did you mention that? It's so weird. Um, if your curls just look a little blah, if you wanna have a little zhuzh, and you can use it um, after the shower too if you want um, on damp hair, but I like to use it on my dry hair to bring her back to life. Okay, that's the hair routine. Um, I'm really, really, really grateful that WeDad wanted to sponsor me because these products have changed my hair or the better like 10 times million times better um i hope you guys know that even though this is sponsored this is literally my hair with these products so if you guys have wavy or curly hair that's similar to mine and you want to up level change the whole dang game make sure to check them out because it's just amazing like it smells so good it looks makes your hair look so good it's yeah completely worth it go try it out i think you guys will really really love it if i had to pick just two products for you guys to get it would be these two the weightless cleansing conditioner and the curl shaper cream if i had to pick only one if i had to pick just one it would be this cream because um it just changes the game it changes the whole dang game okay that's my hair routine hope you guys enjoyed and thank you weed for sponsoring this video I'm freezing after that smoothie bowl. So in stage, we both are just like, this, 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 this. it's like the first kind of cold day, I guess, and I was not prepared. I'm really cold. I put on my Everlane sweater. For, it's literally like still summer technically, right? And I'm in a fucking turtleneck and sweater shivering my ass off. Ugh. Okay. I think I want to make a hot drink of some sort to try to warm myself up because I'm literally like chill. I'm gonna make a turmeric latte. I haven't made one of these in so long. It was like up out of sight, out of mind. And I wanted um, a hot drink that's not caffeinated because I'm not doing caffeine that much and I don't feel like I need it today. I feel like it'll make me crash if I have some right now. So yeah, I'm gonna make one of these. Let me ask Sage actually if he wants one. You know, cause I'm a great wife. I'm gonna take my latte and go get ready and do my makeup, but um, I cannot keep an orchid alive. I'm so upset. Like I've, I've had a green thumb with basically all the other plants I've tried, but I can't keep an orchid alive. Like I got this one, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this different. I'm gonna put it in like a uh, area that's, you know, warmer, more steam, and I'm not gonna move it and I'm gonna water it less. And I was trying to really follow the rules, but it's just not. It's not thriving and I'm upset and I don't know what to do. So if there's any orchid um, whispers in the audience, please let me know because I am sad. Okay, side note. Um, I know I just shared, wow, this light is terrible. I know I just shared um, my clean beauty routine. The other night we're going out for just like some drinks for a little date night and I was just feeling nostalgic and so I used my Maybelline Fit Me foundation 
and it is so good and uh, I just love it. I don't know, I've rediscovered how much I love it. So just throwing that out there that I'm using this sometimes again. And um, yeah, I don't think this is necessarily the right shade for me. It's a little on the orange side, but I make it work. I also started using a beauty blender again. Again, very nostalgic. I don't really know what's happening. Um, also, before I get ready, um, I decided that I'm gonna, hi Henry, I'm gonna donate like all of my beauty products. <laughs> um, I just have so much excess and it really, I feel like it's really weighing on me. Like I just, I literally feel like it's like clogging up my subconscious or some shit. Like I just have so much stuff that I've accumulated. Henry's climbing into the bathtub uh over the years and a lot of it's unused and i just don't want it to be sitting around here anymore like there's this um uh organization in seattle called mary's place and they help um the homeless in seattle and um my best friend Catherine's boyfriend's dad used to be like one of the directors there so um i've just heard about it but it's like the main place that you can donate um, lots of things in Seattle, but especially makeup. I couldn't find anywhere else in Seattle that you can donate makeup and It just would be a lot nicer if I like I just would feel a lot better about it knowing that people are actually using the stuff and like You know finding joy and like getting something out of it and really actually using it <laughs> Like it's meant to be used. It's not meant to be sitting in a drawer along with 900 other lipsticks like it's just ridiculous and I literally use this like on the occasion i'll go into my makeup collection and like pick out a new lip color or something but mostly i just use the makeup that's in this bag like i don't need a humongous hutch with like nine boxes and three drawers as well as all of the drawers in here like i don't need all that shit i don't use it and yeah so i'm gonna donate it just wanted to tell you guys about that also <laughs> you guys are gonna be like wait give it to me um i have stuff that i have set aside for a giveaway that's um I have like two duffel bags worth of stuff for a give for giveaways, so don't worry, I'm still gonna give a lot of it away, but there's just so much that I couldn't really do a giveaway. Like I wish that I could have you guys just all come to my house and take it, but I can't do that because then you know where I live and I don't think that's safe. So yeah, I literally, yeah, I just wanna go. I wanna go. So I'm gonna be doing that soon and I'll probably video or I'll probably record the process of getting rid of everything just cause it's gonna be like, I feel like once I have it all gone, there's just gonna be this huge weight off my shoulders. So that's the tea. Um, Henry, what are you doing? What you doing? Hi. How's life, buddy? Okay, I finished my makeup. Don't look like I have a mustache. I don't know. Um, I felt like doing a little a little brown eyeshadow to match the crispy autumn mood outside. Get a little more moody with the shadow. Oh god, I messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna make the tofu scramble later, a little bit later for lunch because we got really, really full off of those acai bowls. Well, they're not even fucking acai bowls, smoothie bowls. There's no acai in them. Um, yeah, and I'm enjoying my turmeric latte. Uh, why 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 is this a thing like i've slept so much in this last weekend i slept too much for a human to even sleep i slept oh boy i slept so much anyway anyway god i'm like spazzing out let me just tell you this lip color i'm wearing because i have a feeling some of you might ask it's a good one it's the rowan i've never heard of this brand before um charlie charlie lip gloss i'll have it down below but it's really good i randomly got it in pr i don't know i don't know i guess my managers gave them my address but um yeah it's really really nice and i've been enjoying it it's kind of like it's lip gloss but it's super it's like not sticky at all just a little sheen and it makes your lips look pretty big like emma um I was wearing this the other day and Emma was like, did you just get lip filler again? And I was like, no, I haven't had it in like almost a year. And she was like, oh, and it's just the lip, lip gloss. So yeah, you guys didn't know I've gotten lip filler before, but I haven't gotten it in a while because I don't know, I just haven't had the urge. Um, so that's the tea. 
Okay, um, I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Gosh, I'm easy. No, you excited? Um, I just wanted to show you my office currently. It's a mess as usual. Um, hence why I ordered more furniture and storage things because I have nowhere to put anything. So yeah, I just want to show you so then I can have some progress to show you. <laughs> so far, the only new thing is this beautiful shelf. Um, it's from Urban Outfitters. I just really liked the color and honestly, I was having a hard time finding stuff that I liked online, but Urban has good home stuff. Um, this cute little pot is from La Casa de Pinos, and it's a really cute small Instagram business that I found. She is really, really talented, and if you want a nice ceramicist, a nice small business to support. This is my plant. I brought her in from the kitchen because I wanted some greenery in here. This lamp's from Ikea. It's gonna be over here because I ordered a big um, chair and that should be arriving at the end of this month. It takes like four months to come. So yeah, this huge comfy chair is gonna go in this corner and I'm gonna go, maybe I'll do that today actually. I wanna go get some canvases and stuff and some paint. I think I have some paint, but just for fun. Literally, purely for like art therapy or whatever. I have no painting skills, have never really done it before, but I think it'd be nice just to have something that is not digital that I can like be creative or just honestly just relax and do. And I found this amazing easel at the thrift store. So yeah, that's my idea for that. And then this paper is for my backdrop that I took down, used to be over there. And I like how this is blank. I'm gonna leave it mostly blank. Um, so I can do clothing hauls and like TikToks and stuff with a blank wall because it was actually really nice to have. And I also ordered this really nice like brown chair <laughs> that's gonna go there and so much going on. I really need a place to store my, all my shit, <laughs> all my gear and stuff. And I ordered this amazing bookshelf also from Urban. It's like the most unique thing ever. I'll put it up. I've been wanting it for a while. A couple of my friends have it. And then I ordered a different mirror that's like twice or three times as big as this for outfit photos because I have noticed that my outfit photo game has gone down significantly, significantly since moving into this house because there's not as much natural light and I don't have as many good mirror placements. So, you know, content. Just went and picked more tomatoes from our garden. It's literally so incredible. I'm just in awe of this. I can't believe we grew this in our own garden. It's so crazy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put these in the tofu scramble. I'm gonna make it now. It's a little bit later and I'm starting to get hungry. Henry, hi, what do you think? Hi, buddy. Um, I was just reading a little bit and then I'm gonna cook and eat this and then probably go to the store because we're out of some groceries. Yum, smells so good. I've been listening to the Expanded podcast, one of my favorite podcasts. She has Melissa Wood Health, Melissa Wood, <laughs> from Melissa Wood Health um, on the podcast, and I love Melissa Wood. She is freaking amazing. And hi, Henry, you want this food? The main workouts I do are from Melissa Wood's um, app. So, and I just really like following her on Instagram. She's such a like sparkly human she's really she just radiates she's very good energy to follow so um yeah so i was excited to see that collab it's like my two faves i am freshly glossed and i'm gonna go to um the store i'm all out of celery <laughs> i have celery juice every day so or we do i make it for us so we go through two stalks of celery a day which is a lot like two whole things um and i'm out of i'm out of like a lot i'm out of um, orange juice oatly yogurt lemons all the things i can't get at the farmer's market um i get at the store and the farmer's market's on thursday and there's only four more left i'm so upset i'm gonna have to see if there's another one that goes through the winter because i'm gonna miss that Are you running <laughs> do you see that he's running to put his dish in the sink well, okay, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. Gonna go to the store. <laughs> the life of a business owner, ladies and gentlemen. 
Wow. Okay. See you at the store. It is so freaking foggy out. I mean, it's not even foggy, smoky, I guess. It's so crazy. Got my air recirculating in the car. Um, yeah, UPNW, California, Oregon. I'm sure Canada is affected too. Like, stay safe, everybody. Stay inside if you can. I say that as I'm going to Whole Foods, but I need groceries, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I woke up with this song stuck in my head this morning, and I have to listen to it again. It looks so fucking apocalyptic outside. What is this world? This is so crazy. Oh my god. Girl, you look good. Let a real nigga make it right. Let a real nigga make it right. You deserve that much. Let me put some in your life. Let me put some in your life. Put some in your life. Back in the car. Time to sanitize my hands and my phone. I wonder when life will be normal. Probably, probably not for a while. Considering it looks like there's a fucking apocalypse and there's a global pandemic. So, you know. <laughs> um, ew, my phone is so dirty. It's gross. I really feel for people who have to work outside right now when in such dangerous air conditions. Like, just the guy taking the carts back to the store. He has to go in and out, in and out. I just feel really lucky that I get to stay inside. It's such a sage. It's pretty, very grateful for that. Okay. Back we go. I got what I needed to get. And I was going to go hunt around for some things. But I think I just want to go home. Um, I need to edit this video, so... It's already three o'clock, so I need to get the show on the road. But guys, my skin's doing so much better. Can you see? I'm so happy. Even from when I did my skincare update video the other day, like it's already been doing better since then. So I'm a happy bean. Very happy. Happy bean, happy bean. Okay. Actually, there was a funny um, story that happened in, in Amazon, in the store. Um, I was reaching up to the top shelf to get some noodles that I wanted, and I couldn't reach. And I was on my tippy toes, and I, I mean, I could reach. I was gonna, I was making it happen. I was like grabbing onto one side with my pinky and like pulling it down. I couldn't see, but I was getting it done. I was gonna grab it. <laughs> and then this older man was like, I just heard like, "Do you need any help?" And I like looked back behind me. And he was shorter than me. And he was definitely looking at my ass. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm good, I got it. He's like, oh, you got it. And I was like, yeah, I was so close. I just knew I was gonna reach it. And he's like, yep, so close. And then I kept walking and I just, he was just standing there staring at me and I was like, he wasn't like old enough where it was like wholesome. It was like, okay, and you're shorter than me. So how would you reach this exactly? But you know, what you gonna do? Lots of, lots of, um, you'll meet lots of interesting folks in the grocery store. Like old men staring at your ass while you grab some noodles from the top shelf. Okay, I just unloaded all the groceries. I'm gonna end out the video. But I wanted to share some books I've been reading. Um, because you guys seem to like when I give little suggestions. So I got this book, You Are the Universe by Deepak Chopra and Menas K. C. Kafatos. Probably said that wrong. Um, it's supposed to be really great. I'm having trouble with it, I will not lie, because it's very fact-based and very scientific. <laughs> so I'm going very slowly, very, very slowly. I'm only um, 37 pages in. But it's, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be great. I just have to keep at it. And then I also just started this one today, Anatomy of the Spirit by Caroline Miss. Um, and I'm really, really liking this already and I have a feeling it's gonna be very, very impactful. So these are both kind of spiritual, spiritually oriented books, if you guys are into that. So I guess I will end the vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoyed spending my morning and afternoon with me. Um, <laughs> Henry wants to go out. Um, yeah, I kind of liked whipping out the vlog camera again. I'm gonna do that more. Sage actually got the same camera, but the newer, nicer version for his work. So I might steal that every so often so I can, you know, just have a chill vlog. The other camera is like so high quality. 
and amazing but it's really heavy and like not a casual thing um but yeah let me know if you guys liked the good old traditional vlogs and i hope you enjoyed my hair routine i just put my hair up because i was hot but um it literally is a game changer so make sure you go check them out um and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for all the support and love and i wish you all the very best love you love you love you see you soon bye